I'm currently pick and placing more tiny pico panels. I'm not working at a frantic pace, I don't have to build hundreds and hundreds of boards a day, but I'm just chipping away at the panels I've got here, building up my stock levels. And as I've mentioned previously in a stream, I'm running low on some of my components on the reel. So I've got this crazy thing that I'm doing, which I thought some of you might find interesting. It's pretty hacky, it's pretty silly, it slows my production time right down, but I'm not in a major hurry at the moment as I mentioned, so it doesn't really matter how long it takes me to build these panels. Here's another board that's on my pick and place machine, ready to go. And two of the components I'm running low on are my Pico D4s and my Pro-Ant antennas. But I do actually have a whole bunch of loose Pro-Ant antennas. And I've had a whole bunch of loose Pico D4s, either on small strips of tape or just loose in a container. And so what I've been doing is, as I am feeding new panels onto the pick and place machine, I am manually taking my spare parts reloading them into the tape and then feeding them backwards. Sometimes one at a time, sometimes two or three at a time. Now I can only do so many at a time because the cover tape that gets pulled back gets really loose as I feed it back through and so components will jiggle around behind here and they'll fall out. But doing this allows me to reload loose components back into the tape and pick and place them rather than having to hand assemble them afterwards which takes a lot more time and is a lot more error prone. So it's pretty crazy, it's pretty hacky. I don't recommend it for those of you that have a pick and place machine unless you're really not in a hurry because it probably doubles or triples the amount of time it takes for me to build a panel. I'm really only doing it on the larger components. As I said, my Pico D4s, my antennas. I was doing it on my CP2904s before I switched reel because I had a whole bunch of loose ones. But it's pretty funny. For me, it's pretty funny. I find it amusing that I'm scrounging around my parts doing it. But the truth is, I'm trying to make what I've got last as long as possible. I do have reels of new components on the way, but I've got a limited supply here and using up parts this way makes sense to me when I'm not in a particular hurry. I thought I'd share. I thought you might find it interesting. It's what I call a PNP hack and it works for me. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.